brothers and sisters in Christ, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time zone you are in at the time of this video. I don't know if it's just me. I don't believe it is, but am I the only one that's been noticing all these UFO and alien videos popping up all of a sudden? I mean... I actually started noticing them probably about mm, year to couple couple years ago, two to three years ago, I'll say. I was warning people then. You know, my theory about why all these videos wrapped. I mean, um, before I get to that, but um, all these UFOs and alien videos popping up. I really truly believe that they know the world elites know what's going to soon happen. They know about they know the Bible people. The world elites know the Bible. They may never admit it, but they know the Bible. Satan knows the Bible. Okay? He even believes it. But he just can't be saved. So that's funny, though, to me when I think about that, because folk got the nerve to be an atheist. I mean, to each his own, but they got the nerve to be an atheist and Satan himself even believes in God. He says the, the word says the the demons tremble, believe and tremble. So <laughs> atheists really. Okay, but that's not what I came on here for. But back to the uh, videos, I mean, back to the aliens and UFOs um, philosophy. I really believe because they do know, the world elites know what's going to happen any moment now. I, I, it's, that's why I know the rapture is imminent, you guys. It's imminent now. At this point, it's imminent. That means it can happen any moment now. Nothing else prophetic has to happen for before the rapture has to take place. And I really think, I really believe they know that that's going to happen. So now they're, so they're bringing all these videos, videos up of uh, aliens and UFOs. And, you know, it's really to desensitize us. But the folk that are truly um, children of the Most High... He can't fool us. But people that really don't know, they're going to believe the world elites when we're raptured up out of here, off this planet, off planet to earth, when we disappear off the face of this earth. That's what they're going to believe. And that's what they're counting on, people. Don't believe. Don't. I'm telling you now, God forbid, if, you, if you're watching this video and you end up left behind from the midst the rapture, even if you were a Christian and you miss it, it was no alien. It was no UFO that took us up. I saw at Dollar General the other day. I wish I could pop it up. I don't, I'm not tech savvy because I would pop up this. Uh, you know how you see teenagers um, or children that, you you know, some, some of your parents may have bought your children these little uh, door signs, you know how you see um, street signs, but they got them for children, like little words and sayings and pictures on them. There was one with an alien face on it that says, I I took, yo, I took you up or something. I can't remember what it said, but it was saying it as if they took a human up. Like, they caught us they caught us or something it i oh gosh i wish i had the neck with the, the exact saying but i'm like they already making um paraphernalia for the aliens catching us up y'all i mean they think they the devil think they he's slick and he is but when you have the holy spirit you can't out slick the holy spirit when you have the holy spirit living in you believer 
true believer. He will not leave his true followers clueless, blindsided, or ignorant. So, it ain't we can't be blindsided. But I feel sorry for the people who are about to be. But I'm trying to tell you, if you lost and or missed the rapture, I'm. A, I mean. <sighs> Whatever you do, you're going to instantly become, be, instantly become a tribulation saint and you will have to die a martyr for Christ, for Jesus Christ. Per, if you don't take the Antichrist mark of the beast, if you don't pledge any allegiance to him and serve him during that time, such time, you will have to be... Um, persecuted and killed like the bible says so but i'd rather die for jesus christ and be in eternity with him than to die for satan and be in eternal hell for the eternity i mean <laughs> that's a no-brainer you know to be absent from the body is to be present with the lord so the moment your head is off or however they're gonna do it you're going to be instantly with the most high. It's you you guys can't you you know when we're dis we 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 disappear, we're not with no aliens or no aliens caught us or got us or killed us. It's not true people. Don't fall for it. I just pray you guys are ready for the rapture and get yourself in position because you don't want to be left behind. I promise you, you do not want to be left behind because of what's coming on this world. Y'all think it's bad now. This ain't nothing. This is a walk in the park, what we got going on now. And it's bad now. This ain't nothing. The Bible in, Mar in Matthew 24 says, it's going to be such great tribulation that this world has not ever seen or ever will see again. It won't, the, the time that's coming won't even, has never even existed and won't even exist ever again. We thought Hiroshima and 9-11 and the, um, um, I can't think of, oh, it was right at the tip of my brain. The Holocaust, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. All that put together, ain't, don't even scratch the surface of what, when the wrath of the Most High God, Yahweh God, pours out on the children of disobedience. And the ones that's left behind, y'all gonna have to be probably, it's just a matter of survival from that point. Because you can't buy or sell without the devil's market during such time, which is already out, it's already started. I mean, Wisconsin pretty much was the doorway. That employer um, in Wisconsin, that was just a doorway for everybody else to follow suit across the board. I mean, yes, the chip is the mark of the beast. I don't care what nobody say under my comments. You don't have to believe it. You can believe man if you want to. And your those pastors that don't have the Holy Spirit that's telling y'all that it's okay to take the mark of the beast or that the chip is not the mark of the beast. Just because it says mark in the Bible does not mean it's not the chip. Come on, where's your discernment? Okay, that's what the Holy Spirit is for. He gives us discernment. When you truly are connected to him, he's not going to tell you. He ain't going to leave, leave us blindsided, ignorant, or clueless. The Holy Spirit don't work like that. He don't operate like that. So, yes, the, the chip is the mark of the beast. When John received the revelation, at the time, I'm sure he was probably had to been seeing the chip. They just translated it in English to the word mark. That's all. He probably was looking at a microchip back then at that time, like, what in the world was that? It looks like some kind of mark in the in the forehead and in the in the right hand. We can't buy or sell without that. Those people in Wisconsin can't work at that job unless they had that chip. Get it? Got it? I feel sorry for the ones that's already been deceived. With the lie already. It ain't even across the board yet. But I believe by the end of this year or 
sometime in 19, it's, it's going to take off. So I just wanted y'all, I just want to come on here and give y'all a heads up. The rapture is imminent. It's not the UFOs and the aliens that's taking us. It's, the, it's Jesus Christ himself. He is not coming down on and touching his feet on the ground, people. People are confusing the second coming and the rapture as the same event. Those are two separate events. Zechariah um, 14, 1 through 5, talks about the second coming when his feet does touch the ground on the Mount of Olives. And we, the saints, coming with him in verse 5. We're coming with the Most High when he steps his foot on the Mount of Olives. Where do you think we've been all that time? We had to be somewhere. Okay? You think he going to let us come? He going to rapture us and bring us back to a this chaotic, polluted world? The rapture in 1 Thessalonians 4, verses 13 through 18, describes the rapture where we will meet him in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Comfort one another with these words. Saying that there is no rapture is not comforting. Not only that, it's a lie. Just because the word rapture is not in the Bible does not mean it doesn't. it's not a true forthcoming event doesn't negate it as a true event. God's word is true, people. Okay? We can't believe man. I'd rather believe God's word than man's word any day. Because he's a God that cannot lie. He said, let God be true and every man a liar. I want to see all of y'all, all my brothers and sisters that's watching this. I want to see y'all, and I want y'all to come to me when y'all see, when we see each other in glory. I want y'all to come say, hey, you know, hey, what's up, girl? Thank you for them videos. It kept me encouraged. It kept me on, on, the, on the right path. Because that's what I'm making videos for. And this ain't about me. This ain't about no subscribers. I'm doing what the Lord told me to do. In my dreams, he's given me rapture dreams. Um, two years ago, I had a dream that I was in heaven walking side by side with Jesus Christ. I had never had a dream of me walking with Jesus, being with Jesus, let alone being up in heaven. It was like a form of heaven because we were just like we were up in the clouds and we were walking like a path inside of the clouds. And I could not see his face, but I remember he had on some a white, you know, gown or something. And he had this gold sash across him, his chest. And I don't know what we were talking about, but me, it was like me and Jesus was just cool cats. We was just walking side by side. I was walking like in the cool of the day, like Adam, <laughs> you know, in the cool of the day, like I was in the garden of Eden, of Eden or something. But I was up in heaven with Jesus. And I never forget, there were children on each side of us, like just little. It wasn't a whole bunch of children, but on each side of us, as we were walking through this path through the clouds, there were these words in big, bold, bold black letters that said, on one side said ding, on the other side said dong, like ding dong, like a doorbell, you know, like an alarm. So that was interesting to me but the last thing it was a short dream the last thing I remember I was he was sending me back to earth because I was looking up at him at this point and he was still up in the clouds I was descended a little bit and he told me go tell everyone I'm on my way and I was so excited like a little kid like you're on your way he was like, yes, go tell every, everybody I'm on my way. I said, you're really on your way? He said, yes, go tell everyone. And I woke up. And I've been doing it ever since. I've been winning souls. So that's when you see my face on a video, that's what I'm doing. I'm on, a, I'm on assignment. This ain't about me. It's about giving him glory. 
and being obedient. Okay? So I just came on here to um I got some I got a lot of other rapture dreams, but maybe at some point when the Lord leads, I'll I'll share them with you. But um I love you all very much and I want to see us all make it. Okay? Take care. God bless.